Hey guys, this is Dan here with Excel VBA is fun. I got a quick tip for you today. So we've had the question, how do you, um, let's say I wanted to click here and I wanted this cell, just a cell, to be highlighted a certain color. And even perhaps one that's already has a background color. But then whenever I click away, I'd want this cell to be highlighted, but I'd want this one to go back to the original highlighted color. So we have a workaround to, rather than um, in the previous lessons, we did something where it did a crisscross of the cell. So this would all be perhaps yellow, and then this whole row would also be yellow as well as the column. The problem with doing that is that, like I said, sometimes these already have a color. So whenever you decide to wipe these of all coloration, well, this would be white and this would be white after the macro is run. What we're going to use is a workaround using conditional formatting. So I'm just going to have sheet 2 here. I'll just I'll just rename this conform or something like that to represent the conditional formatting and that can even be hidden. But I'll show you what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to have some conditional formatting. So uh, you're going to type alt o d that's conditional formatting and we're going to create a new rule and we're going to click use a formula to determine which cells to format now go over down here to the format values where this formula is true and we're going to say equals we're going to kind of click on the conditional formatting sheet so we're, we have a1 selected on the other one so relative to that we're going to say if a1 on our conditional format or on our cheat sheet basically so click on a1 so and then I'm gonna t I'm gonna take away these dollar signs which actually are talking about a1 and I just wanted to know that whether I go left or right or up or down that which it would be a relative reference not exactly a1 but it can go down or over so let's hit f4 until we just have a1 so I wanna say if a1 uh, equals the number one okay so if that becomes, and you'll see what we're going to do with VBA, we're going to make A1 on this sheet equal to 1 whenever we select it. And then uh, we'll make it blank on this particular hidden sheet whenever we don't select it, whenever we go away from it. So uh, let's check that out. Well, let's put the formatting, what we want it to be. Let's just fill it, let's just say with... Um, this orangish color here and say OK and OK and OK. So let's test it really quick. I'm going to type the number one over here in this conditional formatting sheet and go back to the other sheet. So now A1 has the value one. So if I take it away and let's let's highlight all these. And actually, I probably should have done that for the whole sheet. Let me see. OK, no. OK. We need to go to this Alt O D and just adjust it. So we, this applies to the full sheet. So let's just say A1, A1 colon, uh, uh, I don't know. We'll just do it for A1 through Z, um, 999,999. And that, that's good enough for our test here. So anything that has a 1 on this sheet over here, is going to make an orange. Anyway, let's go get to the good stuff in VBA. So Alt equals, and here is our Visual Basic Editor. What we're going to do? Let's just create a little module here. And what we're going to say is, oh, excuse me, not a module. Let's go back to Sheet One. We need a worksheet event, so we're going to click on this and go to Worksheet. And for the worksheet event, a selection change is actually just fine. So what we want to do every time a selection change occurs is uh, on the conditional formatting sheet, we're going to clear every cell on that sheet. And then we're going to take only the selection and make that equal to 1 on the other sheet. So the selection from sheet 1, the same area basically on the other sheet will become the value 1 for example. So let's do it one step at a time. We're going to declare WS as a worksheet and then that way we can set WS to be equal to this workbook 
dot sheets and in quotes we're going to put the sheet name so right now we're, we're going to refer to the conditional formatting sheet that we just worked with so this way from now on if I type ws dot all the properties of the worksheet called conditional formatting uh, will now drop down and immediately become available to me, which is really handy. That's why we declare it and set it really quick. So uh, WS, you could put anything you want as long as you're consistent throughout when you're referring to that particular worksheet. So we're going to say um, WS dot cells, so all the cells dot uh, value uh, equals Actually, we don't even have to do equals um, equals double quotes. We could just say dot clear contents, and that will do it. So that's going to clear all the cells on our hidden worksheet called conform conditional formatting. First, that's first step. Second step is whatever our target. So in a selection change event, target just means the area that we have selected on our sheet one. So we're going to say ws dot range and uh, we'll just reveal to it the target range so target dot address equals the number one and let's debug through this there's only two steps essentially so I'm gonna do a selection change I'm gonna click on a2 and that should trigger it. I put a little stop marker right here. So it should stop right here. I'm going to click on A2. And then, yes, sure enough, it triggered it. So ws.cells, that's the other sheet, cells.clearContents. That clears everything. And then let's take a peek at what target.address is. So our target is A2, of course. So the target.address is A A2. Okay, so ws, the other sheet, dot range of a2 equals 1 so let's trigger that part and so it put the number 1 on that other sheet which we know the conditional formatting triggers back and says hey let's make this orange because it's the number 1 on the other sheet so let's try it um, again so if we click on B2, for example, we've triggered it. So first of all, it clears every cell on the other sheet. So that's why this won't be orange in it for very much longer. See, there it goes. There goes that number one over there. And now we're making the new target, which is B2, equal to one on that other sheet. So, so you're going to see, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it go through. So as you change, so if I, if I select this range, then now all of that range is the number one on that other sheet. But then whenever I click over here, so it's using conditional forming. Why is that important? Well, that way it doesn't have to remember what color was right here. If I click on this one, conditional formatting takes over temporarily to tell it to be orange. But if I click away, it reveals the actual color. It never really changed the real color that was saved on this cell. It merely allowed conditional formatting to take over. Ergo, if I do this and then click back, all the colors are restored because they never really changed. They just allowed conditional formatting to take over. Anyway, subscribe for more tips like this. They come through all the time. And don't forget to check out my free uh, ebook. You can click on the link on your screen. It's called the Essential Excel VBA Snippets. And that's just little bits of VBA code that you can copy and paste into your own projects. Um, that's a free ebook. If you go to excelvbaisfun.com, you can get a copy of that. And um, subscribe for. For new videos that come out also we have a really popular course we just hit 10,000 subscribers on Udemy we have a course called the uh, the ultimate Excel programmer course so you may want to check that out you can click on the link on your screen right now and this workbook will be available for download for free uh, just visit the Dropbox link on the video description and you can check this one out we're going to call this one what are we gonna call this one 
Let's see here. I'll put it in my shared workbooks and we'll call this one as macro enable workbook. We'll call this one um, conditional formatting for highlighting and selection change kind of on the spot here so I didn't know what to call this anyway you'll know you'll be able to find that on there it should be dated 3 7 of 2015 so anyway you can check that out you can play with the code all you want just uh, open it up and hit alt f11 anyway thanks again for watching and God bless